Hello and welcome to this video, it's Leonard here from DetailLeonard.com and in today's video tutorial I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade fissures with Binance. So this video is going to be a step by step guide on how to trade fissures using the Binance exchange and it is going to actually be from a beginner's level um, to an advanced level. So if you're a beginner at the end of this video you should be able to know um, what feature is what on the Binance features trading and how to be able to use them you should be able to trade features at the end of this video and um, with that being said this video is going to be actually quick and I'm going to be um, smart about it and straight to the point so that you'll be able to follow up step by step on whatever you need to know so if you are new to this channel you love videos about making money online about crypto trading and investing then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel and in order to be able to carry out any type of trade whether spot p2p um, um you know features on the binance exchange you need an account with binance if you don't have an account already then link will be in the video description to sign up for an account so once you sign up for an account it is assumed you already you know signed up and you verify the account so you want to log into your account after logging in you come in here to where it says derivatives this is the menu you will come to and then when you click on this you want to go to where it says um, USD M features this is the one you're going to click on and that will open up now before we go further I just want to throw more light on the difference between the USD M features and then the coin M features now on the USD M features it means that for you to be able to trade any other asset in the um, using this option this USDM features you need to have USDT in your account why on the coin M features what you need is either Bitcoin you know the asset you are trading with has to be the the um, crypto asset itself it could be Bitcoin it could be Ethereum it could be Dogecoin it could be Cardano whatever coin you have it means that this time around you will be trading in Bitcoin and you'll be earning in Bitcoin why this on the other hand is that you trade usdt you can use usdt to trade bitcoin trade ethereum whatsoever the underlying asset is at the end of the day you are settled with usdt so that is just the difference but in our own case we are going to focus on the usdt because it's usdt we have on our account so you click on this and then once you click on it it opens up an interface like this so i'm going to walk you um, on what and what is here and how to navigate through this in interface and to use them to your own advantage so once you come in here the first thing you want to do is where it says btc usdt and then here at the top you have btc you have all of this coin listed there this is because these are my favorite coin um trading I favorite some of these coins that is why you are seeing them here so in your own case if this space is blank all you just need to do to have all of this coin listing uh, lining up here you just come in here once you come in here these are all of it you see that these are all favorite coins so you see um, BTC you see Ethereum you see Bitcoin cash you see SRP all of them are all here so this, this that is why they are showing up there so if I come in here and then uncheck this star icon that is yellow right now you see that that particular asset will disappear from here so when i come back here and make it my favorite again btc usdt if i make it my favorite again it will you know definitely pop up um here you see it this is it here so i just click on it to go straight to that coin i don't need to come and start searching and then click on this it goes straight and opens up that coin and so on and so forth so once you want it this is like a shortcut to assess any of this um, token that you want to trade you just go ahead and make it your favorite by just checking making sure that the star icon by the side here is checked and one, once it is yellow it means that that is checked and you see the coin here if it is grayed out it means it is not checked now if you don't see any of this coin here all you need to do is let's say you want to trade um any other coin for instance at that usdt you just go ahead and type in your ticker here and it will pop up here so once it pop up you can just go ahead and click on it or just make it your favorite if i type that again um you can just go ahead and click on it and that will pop up or if you don't want to uh, to be going to search for it each time you just come in here you click on it and make it your favorite by just clicking this favorite icon here 
and that that will be showing up somewhere here so next time you just navigate through it and just click it and it will open up like this but our focus there is btc and the btc want to trade any other coin you want to trade you can just go ahead and select it and then it pops up here so that is it for all of this favorite order here and then beneath here this is where you select all of the coins and then this is the current price of the coin you are going to be trading in this case btc so btc the current price is this and then you see the market price the index price and then the funding countdown this is because we are trading perpetual you see btc usdt and it is showing beneath it as perpetual now there is features features has expiring date meaning that it can expire in a week it can expire in, in one month it can expire in you know in three months and it goes on like that and then when i come in here to delivery you see that this is quarterly btc um quarterly it means that this will expire on the 12th 31st of december this will equally expire on the 31st december and the rest but on perpetual it doesn't have expiring date and that is why we have um, this funding uh countdown fee here so you pay this fee um whenever this time comes down to be able to you know maintain that position and then we have the 24 hours change in the price of this particular set we have selected and then the 24 hours um high in the price of this particular asset so if i click this arrow here it shows you the volume that has been traded here for the last 24 hours on this particular set on the exchange you see the volume that has been traded here so far and then this interface is your chart so if i scroll down here this is your chart and on the chart here we have the original and then we have the trading view so if you want to use the original the original is the chart from the binance exchange but if you want to use that of trading view you go ahead and select it i prefer the one of trading view because it gives you all of this drawing um, these tools here you can use you know to draw things and you know uh, set up your trade and the rest if i want to expand this chart for instance i just click on this icon here once i click on it it will open up this chart that particular chart in a full screen so it will open it up like this in a full screen if i want to exit that i'll go ahead and click on my escape a button on my keyboard and it will exit the full screen or just click on this this um I, I, I arrow is there and then it will embed it back into the exchange so this is your chart where you use to analyze your market to know when to you know enter the trade and when not to enter the trade then aside that here is your order book so on the order book here um if you want to see only the orders that are um, buy orders you just click on this it will show you only buy orders if you want to see only sell orders you click here it will show you only sell orders but if you want to see both buy and sell orders you click here so the ones in red here are all sell orders these are what people are ready to sell in the market and these are all pending orders that is why you are seeing them here and then these are pending buy orders means that whenever bitcoin gets down to the price which these people are ready right now the price is 48 six ten if it gets down to 4806 this person is ready to uh, to buy if it goes goes up to 48607 this person is ready to sell and it goes on like that so whenever you place a limit order so whenever you place a limit order your limit order will be pending here and it will be filled up once the market gets to that particular price that you are specified here so all of these are buy um, sell limit orders and then buy limit orders that are waiting to be filled in the market that is what the order books is all about here and then you see the ongoing trade and the amount of btc that is being traded the time it is traded and the rest you see all of these details here and then this other handle here is this is where whenever you select any assets here the first thing you want to do when it comes to trading features you want to come in here to where it says isolated in your own case it's going to be cross this is your margin actually so you want to select this and change it if it is cross you change it from cross to isolated most especially when you are just starting up i'm going to demonstrate this to show you what the difference are now with cross when you are trading with cross you are actually risking every amount of money you have on your on your exchange on your officials account if i have ten thousand dollars here and i'm trading with uh, let's say a thousand dollars out of that ten thousand i am actually staking the whole of that ten thousand against this particular asset meaning that if i don't put stop loss and my account is liquidated i will lose every money i have on my exchange 
but if i use isolated if it is 1000 i'm risking i'm only going to lose that 1000 if my liquidation take place before my stop loss so those are just the difference but for as a beginner you want to make sure that you are starting up with the isolated option so that is what you see here and then the leverage the number of leverage um you choose you have between 1x to or 125x so you can go from 1x to 125x if you are just starting up i would just advise between 1 and 20x don't go more than that so once you select your leverage the next thing you want to do is um the limit order these are all your um different types of orders here we have limit we have the market and then we'll have the stop when i hover over the arrow here you have the stop limit the stop market the trailing stop and then the post only um, in this video um, for the sake of time i'm just going to focus on the limit and the market for the market order it means that you want to buy this particular crypto asset with the market order if the market with the, uh, right now the price is at 48 600 so if i use this it's going to buy with whatever the market price is right now but with limit i can go ahead and specify that i want to enter this market whenever the price of this asset gets to let's say forty nine thousand. so i can go ahead and specify mine and then i'll choose here the number of crypto that i want to trade if i want to measure this in usdt i'll go ahead and select usdt then put in the amount of usdt here for instance if it is 200 usdt i can go ahead and put in 200 usdt then if i want to measure it with btc i'll select btc then i can put one btc here now when i put one btc here and i scroll down here this is what is going to cost me to be able to trade one btc remember because i'm using 20 um 20x leverage i'm going to pay this amount of money to be able to trade one btc at the cost of forty-eight thousand six hundred. so if i was not using any leverage this is how much i'm actually going to pay which is forty-eight six hundred to be able to trade one btc but because i'm using leverage i'm going to pay two thousand now if i come in here to increase this leverage let's say i go to 120 or 100x let me come in here and choose 100x and click on confirm so with the 100x and i want to trade one bitcoin it's going to actually cost me less so instead of almost 3000 plus to trade um, one btc i'm going to pay just 846 to be able to trade one btc so the more the leverage the lesser the amount you use but the closer your liquidation price that is one thing you want to actually note um here and on the features interface here we have buy representing long so when you hear somebody is long in the market somebody is shorting the market this is what it simply means that the person is buying so when the person buys or opens is the person is long in the market when the person sells or um, short or close it all means that the person is shorting the market so the number of leverage you use the faster the profit you make and the quicker the money you the the losses you equally incur when you use all of this on your platform so be careful with the number of leverage that you are actually going to use on your account all right so with that being said with this option being selected the next thing you want to do if you don't want to actually use um type in one btc or whatever you can use what this percentage slider here if i slide it here if i say 100 percent, it means that i'm going to use 100 percent of the funds that i have on my account if i come in here to select 20 it means that i'm using 20 percent of the funds that i have on my account that is exactly what it's going to do for you and then when you scroll down here you'll see how much it's going to cost you using about 20 or 10 percent of the funds you have on your account and if you check this on it will give you the option to set your take profit and then your stop loss so you can go ahead and set your take profit already i have a trade that is currently running so i will not i'm going to trade another asset and then show you how this work now if i scroll down here let me just explain what is here here we have one position open and the size of the asset we are trading is 1.02 btc and then we entered this market when the uh, coin was actually on the, um, 48 dollars and then the current market price now is 48690 dollars and then we are going to be liquidated this liquidation option you are seeing in there because we are trading with isolated so meaning that 
um we are going to be liquidated when the price of this coin gets down to 46700 so the margin ratio here is about nine percent which is um still okay and then the margin that we are actually um trading with right now it means that for me trading one btc i am actually risking 2400 almost 2500 to trade one btc so right here on um the p nl what you're seeing here is the losses i've incurred right now in trading that means out of the 2000 plus that i'm risking here i am actually losing this i am losing this amount of money right now so if this goes into green it means that i'll be profiting in the market so if i want to add more margins to what i'm currently trading with here i'll just click on this edit and i can go ahead and click on let's say i want to add 200 if I go ahead and add 200 USDT and I go ahead and confirm this will push down the liquidation price in this case my liquidation was at uh, 46 700 plus but because I've added 200 that has pushed this from 2400 to 2600 plus my liquidation price has been pushed down as well so basically if you want to add margin you can go ahead but i'm not advising anybody to do that because features trading feature is actually risky so you, but you can actually do that if i want to close this um, trade right now i can close it with the market order by just clicking on market or close it with a limit order so i can use limit order to close this or just close it with the market order meaning that if i close this trade now i'm going to actually lose this amount of money that you are seeing right here but now if my account get liquidated at this price i'm going to lose only this money and the reason for that is because i am using um, the isolated option to trade this particular asset now if i use cross let me go ahead and say let me trade btc uh, ethereum if i go ahead and select ethereum here and by default you see there it has selected cross and now that it has selected cross i want to enter at the market price right here so i'll go ahead and select market price and then i want to trade um let's say 0 0.5 ethereum so i'll go ahead and click on 0 0.5 ethereum that will cost me about 99 usdt if i increase that to 0 0.8 for instance that is going to cost me 160 usdt and then i want to take profit when ethereum gets to 4300 or let me i will set the take profit after i've set up this trade now because i'm entering with the market price immediately this will be um triggered so i'm going to long the market by just going there click on buy long so once i click on buy long the trade has been placed successfully you will see the trade here and already is it, it all entered in profit and the rest so this is trading with 20x that is because it is 20x that is here and uh we are actually trading the size of coin we're trading 0 0.8 and then the entering price was this the market price is this and then we don't have liquidation price here because i am using cross that is because i'm using cross meaning that i have enough balance here as you can see here i have enough balance to actually cover so it means that bitcoin or ethereum needs to get down very well before i can start seeing liquidation price here since i'm using cross i cannot have liquidation price here that is what it means so why this is showing my uh, margin ratio as 8.9 percent this is showing 0 0.22 uh, percent so it means that i need to get to the risk needs to get to this um 0 0.8.9 or 10 percent before i can actually have a liquidation price here so in this case i don't have any liquidation price but i should be able to set up a a stop prof a take profit and a stop loss for this trade so in order to do that where you see take profit stop loss for position here i'll just click here to edit that if i click here to edit that i'll go ahead and say okay i want to take profit when ethereum gets to let's say 4500 when it gets to 4500 it means that i'll be making an estimate profit of about 490 39 this is what i'll be making and if i want to put my stop loss i can go ahead and put my stop loss at let's say three thousand dollars so if it gets down to three thousand dollars i'll be losing 760 usdt um so whatever you want you can go ahead and put if i put three thousand five hundred for instance it means that i'll be losing 360 usdt and so on so you can go ahead and then you go ahead and click on confirm if you click on confirm here 
that will be placed successfully and if you come in here to the open orders you will see the stop loss and the take profit i just set up for ethereum you see them all of them here so if i come back to the position again you see that already this is going in profit if i want to close this right now just click on this market order to close this and take profit and so on so basically this is what is here if you are trading with cross it trades with with cross margin it trades with everything on your account so because of that you will not be seeing liquidation prices so but but just focus on setting your stop loss why on isolated trading with isolated option it means that whatever amount of money you are risking here you are going to be losing it whenever your account is liquidated so it is now left for you to make your decision right now i'm losing about 158 on this ethereum and already i'm making profit with this and if i let this run if it hits uh, my target of uh, 4500 4, means that i'll be making additional 400 in this trade so basically this is all i needed to explain to you on um, using the features uh, option with um, binance is very simple it is something that you can actually trade now trading features comes with a lot of risk because whenever you lose money here you are losing your money completely this is not like spot trading where you can actually trade and um, have your asset and wait for the price to increase before you sell them but here if you lose money you are losing completely so you must understand the um, tricks and you know the tips what you need to do to be able to actually make profit from this market so if you are new to this channel and you want to learn more about crypto trading you want to be a part of my zoom community then link to join my telegram group will be in the video description and then if you love more videos like this then consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on this channel um i'll be ready to answer all of your questions if there is anything that i didn't mention here that you feel it didn't fit that is supposed to or you don't understand you can use the comment section and i'll definitely attend to all of your comments so this is basically the simple step-by-step -step guide on how to trade features with binance it is not something that is too difficult it is something you can do and be making profit on a daily basis and as i said earlier you can actually grow with futures trading you can grow a little amount of money to um, a very significant amount of money you can start with as low as 10 usdt you can start with 100 usdt you can start with as much as you want but one thing i want to let you know is that the more funds you have the more money you make whenever you are trading on this market so that is all i have for you in this video once again if you don't have an account with binance use the link in the video description to sign up for one and i'll see you in the next video